So the next theorem uh, we're going to talk about is the Halley's selection theorem. What it tells us is that for any sequence of distribution function fn, the fn doesn't have to be converged to something itself, we can always find a subsequence fnk uh, that will converge to a function f, which is the function f is non-decreasing and right continuous. That function f doesn't have to be a distribution function because the limiting fun value of f on minus, minus infinity and plus infinity may now be 0 and 1. But the Halley's selection theorem is, is telling us that we can always find a subsequence from any sequence fn, we can always find a subsequence that will converge to a non-decreasing right continuous function. And that that can that uh, with that um, convergence is for all points, all continuous points y of f. So it's uh, it's considering all the continuous points of f. Um, so like I said, the function f may now be a distribution function. Uh, we can see example here, so if, if we define fn to be a function of a times uh, indicator function uh, of when x is greater than or equal to n, plus b times another indicator function a when of 1, uh, when, when x when x is greater than or equal to minus n, plus c times a uh, distribution function g, uh, where a, a and b and c are, 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 are greater than 0, uh, and constant with a constraint that a plus b plus c equal to 1, then we can see that the function f, fn, converges to f. Uh, when, when n go, gets larger and larger, uh, we always, uh, <coughs> when n, sorry, when n gets larger and larger, this will become 0 and and this will always be uh, b, right? So x will always be greater, greater than or equal to some minus n. And, and this is uh, now changed, so we will get b plus c times gx. Uh, but, but then uh, the, limiting fun the limiting value of f when x goes to minus infinity is, is b. Uh, which is not zero, and also the limiting function of f when x goes to plus infinity is b plus c, which is one minus a, which is also now one. So this is example that tells us that f n may now be converging to a distribu dis distribution function. Uh, the proof was now presented here, but the idea of proving the Halley selection theorem is, is that, remember, the fn's values are all in between 0 and 1. It's a compact closed interval. So from, uh, we can, what we can do is that we can iterate all the uh, by you know, in the rational numbers is iterable. So for each rational number, what we we can do is that the the, the sequence f n let's say q q q n, uh, the this f n this sequence is 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 a sequence in a, in a compact space. So. By the mathematical analysis, real analysis, we know that we can always find a, a further subsequence that will converge to a value. So by doing that, we can construct that those limiting values for each rational numbers to uh, to construct a function. Uh, but then the function may not be uh, continuous because we are we are we are using rational numbers only. 
But if we take the uh, for each irrational number, if we take that, we, if we define the irrational the value on irrational number to be the infimum of all the uh, rational number that is greater than uh, greater than this irrational number, then the, by doing that, we can construct the function f uh, that is right continuous and and, and non decreasing. So that's the idea of, of proving uh, Halley's selection theorem. Um, so the next thing is that uh, when, under what conditions, this, this limiting distribution, li limiting right continuous non decreasing function f is a distribution function. And that is answered in this theorem. Uh, 